Hi everybody, welcome to our third virtual Taekwondo lesson. Today's going to be a short and sweet one. We're going to be doing something called Tabata training. Now Tabata is high intensity interval training, but that doesn't mean that it's going to kill you. You can still go at your pace or however comfortable you are. If I do 20 squats, you can do something like 10 or even less. That's absolutely fine. We're going to be going through a whole range of different exercises and a whole bunch of different kicks. Again, this one's designed to be short and sweet. We're aiming for around 20 minutes with this session. Quick warm up and then three rounds. And I'll explain Tabata a bit more as we go. So let's start. Chariot. Good to have you all here today. Let's just start twisting to get warmed up. While I'm moving and you're copying me, I'll explain Tabata. Tabata can be different types of rounds, but generally it's 20 seconds of activity and then 10 seconds of rest. And let's just start going from here and getting some butt kicks. So you can do 20 seconds of jogging on the spot and then 10 seconds of rest. And then you repeat that generally for eight rounds. That usually ends up equal in about four minutes of training. Again, roughly four minutes because it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let's get some knees just up in front. Sometimes people make Tabata 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Again, it's up to you. It's just the general concept of doing one thing, rest, and then do it again. Knees out to the side. If you need some extra time to warm up with this session today, pause the video, keep moving until you feel absolutely ready before we start the first round. And then from here, we're going to be doing some hip hinging. Face this way. From here, we want to be touching our toes, so we're going to do it a little bit quicker than normal. Instead of staying down there, we're going to touch our toes, we're going to come down as far as you can, and then straight back up to the sky. One, two. You don't want to be bouncing this stretch. You're just move, actively moving your muscles in a way that they're going to move when you're kicking. Four. Do one more, and then we're going to do a single leg. One foot in front, I'll show you this way here and then down, just as far as you can. Once you reach your max limit, reaching down, and you reach up to the sky. And one more, thanks. Five, feel the other side. Down, one, two, three. Right, let me introduce you to Bob. I'm going to be using Bob a little bit today for some of my kicks. If you've got a Bob at home, you'll be able to use him too. What we're going to do, grab onto something, maybe a wall. You're just going to be doing some leg swings. Just swing your legs sideways, like a side kick, just to open up those hips a little bit. All right, and then swing with the other leg. One more little stretch, just side to side. Again, it's a quick little warm up. Bending one leg, keep the other one straight, leaning across. Hope you've been enjoying our last two videos. Again, we're aiming to be making more as time goes on. If you have feedback about what you liked or didn't like, you know, let us know. Send us an email. Those who are current members of our club, you know, give us some feedback. Let us know the parts that you're liking. I know there was a request for a weapons tutorial and there was a request for a Bob tutorial about how to use those bits of equipment and some different things that you can do. Working on those, they'll be coming out. This time when you change toes up. You know, if you see anything else that you want to see more of, just let us know. All right, come back up and just move about. Right. Our first round is going to be focusing on some legs, front snap kicks, and axe kicks. That's going to be our, our ingredients for the first round. So again, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I've got my little timer here. All right, so you can start at the same time as me. You'll need four minutes on your timer. And then from here, we look at it. We're going to start with squats, and that's it. Nothing else, only squats. Three, two, one, here we go. We're going to squat for 20 seconds. Now, Tabata is generally designed for you to go as fast as you can, but that doesn't mean you have to. You can just use it to move your body. So if you're going to go faster than me, oh, I'd love you to. 
go for it, as quick as you can. Three, two, and that's the first 20 seconds. All right, now we've got front snap kicks. So we're just gonna be kicking straight to the camera. 20 seconds of front snap kicks, let's go. That was our 10 second rest. Now we wanna be kicking repetitively. Front snap kicks here, here, at least a belt height. It's about moving the body. And relax, 10 seconds rest. Those 10 seconds are gonna go really quick. We've got prisoner squats now. Feet are flat, and what you do, hands behind your head like a prisoner, squat, tippy toe, tippy toe. Getting up nice and high. Squat and tippy toe. You might hear my knees clicking a bit, don't panic. Not a bad thing at all, doesn't hurt. Up and down, five more seconds. And come on. Whew, again, even if you're going at a steady pace, Tabata can get quite tiring. We've got axe kicks now. Moving your legs in crescent arcs. Here we go, axe kick. Up and down, a little bit of a curve. Don't say curve right now. Get triggered. Three, two, and done. We've got alternate lunges now. Lunges are a little bit trickier than squats. Follow along. Ready? Let's go. Drop the back leg down. Time-based, relax. 20 seconds done. We're gonna go back to front snap kicks this time. I'm gonna kick Bob for my front snap kicks. Ready, go. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. That's the target for Tabata. Lots of movement, minimal rest. If you don't have a bob, obviously, go kick in the air. Relax. 10 seconds rest. We've got one more round, then we get a proper break before we start the next one. We've got jump squats. Ready? Go. Bend. Jump. Get off the ground. Just a little bit. Just leave the ground a tiny bit. 10 seconds to go. Make sure you're maintaining good quality and relax. Last round now, what we want is front snap kick, axe kick. Front snap, put it down, same foot, axe kick. Keep on switching, let's go. Front snap, axe kick. Front snap, axe kick. Well done, have a full minute of rest. You should be breathing a little bit heavier than before. Maybe you need a little drink, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna stick with the full minute, with the just one minute rest. Lucky you, you can press pause if you need a bit of an extra break. Forgive me while I fix my uniform up. Those that don't do Taekwondo, maybe you're a special guest for us today. In Taekwondo, it's never really polite to fix your uniform majorly in front of other people. It's polite to turn around. It's uh, similar to getting dressed. You don't get dressed in front of other people in public. You turn to the wall, you turn away while you fix yourself up. We've got 20 seconds to go. We've got round two. This time, we've got a few different exercises. You're gonna need a chair for this routine, just one time actually. So a chair is going to be useful. I'm just going to pop him over here. I think that will be a good spot. No, I'll bring him closer. Let's go. There. Chair. Set the timer back to four minutes. Okay. Ooh, ooh. We've got some side kicks, back kicks, and we're going to be working off a couple of push-up rounds and some stomach rounds. 
So you're gonna to need to be on the ground as well. I'm gonna lower this a little bit so you can see, and I'll just back up a bit more. Ready, we're starting on the ground with push-ups for 20 seconds. Here we go, down to the ground, bend and push. Knees is okay if you need to go on your knees. Get it if you need it. So push-ups up and down. You wanna be working at a high pace. Just as best you can until, come on, that's it. Push-ups are done, 10 seconds of rest. We've got side kicks now. Side that way, side that way. Here we go. Side kick, come back. Side kick, come back. Just kicking in each direction, refreshing those techniques you might have learnt in the previous two classes. And come on. Right. Second exercise on the ground, we've got some crunches, nice and simple, squeezing that stomach. Get down to a comfortable position. Let's go. Little crunches on the ground. You just want to squeeze those stomach muscles. Get your shoulders off the ground, but keep your heels down. None of this, that's too much. Just keep the heels down, get your stomachs up, and come on. Sure. We got back kicks. Facing the camera or facing the screen, we're going to kick straight back away from where your normal opponent is. Go! Back kick here. Back kick. Constantly kicking straight back. Let me turn sideways for you guys here. Kick. Ready. Kick. Come on. Sure. Now we're using the chair. Tricep dips. Sit down on the chair. Fingers over the edge. Bum off the edge. And start dipping. Bend and push. Using those arms. You're gonna make it a little harder. Step a little further out. Feel the burn in the back of your arms. Keep your posture up. No slouching. Up. Pushing up and down. Come on. That's it for the dips. We're gonna move back to our side kicks again. I'm gonna kick bolt this time. Ready? Let's go. Side kick. I'm gonna change my feet. Side kick. Less than 10 seconds. Keep up your activity. Here. Come on. One more ground exercise. We've got a 20 second plank. Not the hardest thing. Ready? Four arms down. Legs straight and hold. Hold that position. Try and keep your belt not squished onto the floor. You've got to keep the knot of your belt, the knot, away from the ground. Trying to keep that back straight. Even up to here is still a good plank if you need a different option. Come on. One more set for this last round. We've got side kick and back kick. So we want one, hold it, two. Ready, go. Side, back, other leg. Side, back, working in those hips. Side, back. Side, back. Side, back. One more. Come on. Sure, have another break. Have yourself a little bit of a rest. Have a drink. We want one minute. Again, fix your uniform up. I'm going to. Does this mean I've lost some weight? Maybe I've lost some weight in the quarantine. Our last round. Oof. Now we're going to move a little bit. You can hear me breathing anyway, I'm already moving. So, we've got some more high intensity activities. We've got some jogging, some star jumps, some tuck jumps, so lots of locomotion kind of activities. Your whole body's moving. And our kicks are going to be roundhouse kicks for a couple of rounds, and some hook kicks 
for a couple of rounds. That's the recipe for our last round. Let's do it. I'm gonna reset the timer to four minutes. I might have myself just a little drink. And we are ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. First round is jogging. Here we go. Just jogging for 20 seconds. Maybe not the hardest one, but you want to keep that heart rate up. Three, two, one, and relax. We're going to go for roundhouse kicks. So facing the camera, angle, kicking straight across. Here we go. One leg, come back. It's the other leg's turn. Kick, come back. Kick. Again, you just want to be working at a comfortable pace. You want to go faster? Go for it. I'm working on making sure. I can explain stuff as I kick. And come on. Sure, we got star jumps. You'll be jumping around like crazy. Feet together, hands by your side. Don't smack Bob in the face. Let's go. Out and in. Ten seconds down. Keep it going. Try to go faster. That's the idea for Tabata. Come on. Hook kicks. That's where we're going next. Spinning hook kick. Taking out your opponent straight in the gut or straight into the head. Here we go. Sit up. Spinning hook. Other foot. Lots of momentum from your legs, from your hips, to let that leg swing out. One more. Come on. We've got tuck jumps. We're halfway through the final round. Tuck jumps, you've got to get your knees tucked up to your chest. Every single one. Go. Tuck jump. Tuck jump. High as you can. Tuck the knees up. Tuck the knees up. Ten more seconds. Let's go. Up, up, up. Come on, sure, mix yourself up real quick, looking a bit messy, 10 more seconds, oh, not 20 seconds of now, roundhouse kicks again, I'm going to kick Bob, go, seconds that's horrible too bad go down out push up jump in jump up that's one keep them going five seconds quick one more come on last round roundhouse hook kick combo towards the camera Try to get as many as you can. Go! Roundhouse, hook kick, move back. Five seconds. Come on. Sure, well done, people. Ah. Like I said, short and sweet. Let's breathe a little bit. Again, let me just fix myself up. I think that's one of the main lessons from today as well. If your uniform gets messy, turn around. Try not to fix it up in front of people. Let's breathe to our side. Hana, breathe in. Do. Breathe out. Hana. Oh, with this you want to be bringing your heart rate down. Hana, by controlling your breathing. Do one more. Hana, 
do. Come on, sure. You've seen some of the other stretches that we've done in previous lessons. Go and do some cool down stretches. Whatever muscle you feel you have worked the most, maybe in your legs, maybe in your upper body, try out some stretches to stretch out those muscles to help them recover after this workout. Like I said before, if you have any feedback, please leave us a comment or send us an email at info.powerwithpurpose.com.au. Let us know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, let us know. And we will be coming out with a bob tutorial soon, as well as a stick spinning tutorial. Stick spinning tutorial. And we'll let you guys know how that goes along. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Face me, chariot, the bomb in Class dismissed.